it's sometimes disheartening knowing that the university, a space that I'm trying to cultivate to be more inclusive, a space that I want to feel like I belong here, has honored a man that never imagined me as a student. It's very hurtful at a sense because this is the campus that I want to be and this is the campus I want to evolve to be more inclusionary of students like myself. It's a very long process to get a building name removed. Students have been advocating for this for years. And the fact that we've been able to remove Bolt, remove Barrows, Lacan, is a really a big testament to student advocacy and grassroots organizing. Um, because it wasn't just students, it was also faculty and staff and folks that really wanted to invest their time in making this campus more inclusive. Something that I sit with when we're considering a naming buildings is intent versus impact. So though, you know, some of these figures intended to do good in their field of study or for the university, right, what impact do they hold on our current student body and our current population that inhabit our campus? As I've become more active in this movement to unnamed buildings, I've learned more deeply about Barrow's history. One of the things that really jumped out to me was the violent language he used to describe Filipinx folks, but then also black individuals, and how he, in his writings and his manuscripts and in his career, legitimized their dehumanization. I don't think many folks realize who's housed in Barrows. We have our ethnic studies department, our Chicano studies department, African American studies, women, gender studies there. So a lot of marginalized communities, this is their center of knowledge. This is where their production of knowledge happens. We as a university should never be stagnant. How do we challenge ourselves to be better? How do we challenge ourselves to evolve and to adapt to these current circumstances? I'm really excited for the naming advisory task force that's gonna get started to really analyze what the community wants and what do we wanna name these buildings. For me, it's important to be in this battle to make sure that other folks like me that come afterwards genuinely feel like this is their campus and that they belong here, no questions asked. Um, and for me, that is through who we honor on our buildings. And so this unnaming is a huge step in inclusivity, but also honoring our diversity.